Good morning, MSHS. Welcome to today's edition of Wildcat News. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, and it is also a B-Day. Stay tuned for lots of announcements coming right up. But first, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Spring break is almost here, and it means spring, spring pep rally time. The pep rally will be next Thursday, April 18th, beginning sixth period. You can see any of your class officers to sign up for games. There will also be lunchtime games next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday will be Miracle Minute. Bring any loose change to donate to Minithon. Tuesday will be Maple Shade Kahoot, and Wednesday will be Emoji Game. And don't forget to dress up next week to show your school spirit. The dress up days are as following Monday will be Minithon Day, where any Minithon shirts or blue and gold. Tuesday will be Tie Dye Day, where um, and Wednesday will be Worldwide Wednesday. Show your school spirit for any country around the world. And wear your class colors on Thursday. And Minithon will take place that evening after the pep rally. The Minithon committee has been hard at work all year planning this event. Let's meet two more committee members, Sinclair and Gianna Danofa. Wondering what the cafeteria is going up today? Let's go to Jake, who has all the details. Yo, it's your human Shrek lookalike, uh, Jake here. Uh, tell, here to tell you that your uh, lunch is baked ziti with meat and mozzarella, cheese steak, chicken tenders, pepperoni pizza. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> Thanks. Attention seniors, if you're interested in being interviewed for this year's Senior Memories video, please sign up with Mrs. Lyons in room A11 or any Wildcats new student by next Wednesday, April 17th. Interviews will begin the week after spring break. The Alliance Club will be participating in the Day of Silence next Friday, April 12th. If you would like to show your support, you may sign you may sign Alley cards and pay $1 for bracelets to show that you are remaining silent for this day. They are now available during all lunch periods. And the National Art Honor Society will be hosting their next coffee house at 6.30 p.m. on tonight in the cafeteria. Come out and hear some great music performed by your classmates. Anything happening in Wildcat Sports today? Here's Nicholas with all your details. What's up, cats? Hey, there's the mic. Sup, cats? So today, softball is a game against Haddon Heights. Home. And everybody else has practice. Go softball. Thank you, Nicholas. Also, Wildcat Sports. Congratulations to the boys' track team who competed Saturday at Lenape High School. Here are some of the highlights. The 4x800 team of Reese, Braden, Lincoln Orsby, and Justin Milligan placed second. The Distant Melody team of Reese, Justin, Braden, and Sean Reed placed third. Joe Clem was fourth in the high jump and sixth in the triple. Hunter Conover threw over 141 feet and took second in the discus. 
And Matt Clem threw a PR of 150 feet in the javelin and took fourth. And Steve Moquin and Matteo Rivera placed fourth and sixth, respectively, in the pole vault. Well, that brings us to the end of our show. We are going to leave you with another clip from last Wednesday's Variety Show. It features Mrs. Anowski's kid and daughter. Enjoy. Woohoo!